Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life. And you guys, this is a video we've meant to do for well over a year. Yeah. Several of you guys have requested that we would do a house tour. And so in this video, it's exactly what we're doing. If you watch our vlogs, you're probably pretty familiar with this setup. And we have one downstairs that you'll recognize as well. But most of the rest of our house, you guys probably haven't seen. And so we're gonna take you through today, show you the different rooms, show you some art pieces and collectibles, and just kind of the things that we love about our house that make it our home. So let's get going. So for privacy purposes, we're not gonna show you anything on the outside of our house. But we are gonna just start right where you would be if you walked into our house. This is our front door. We do have a split level house. So you come in, you have to go up or down immediately. Yep. It's a three bedroom, two bath townhome, about 1150 square feet. Not huge, but honestly for us, we really love it. So this is what you would see if you walked in. So when you first walk in, you'll see you can go upstairs or you can go downstairs. So we have a bunch of art around our house. We're gonna show you all of this here in a little bit because art, I don't know you guys, we just absolutely love it. This is a piece from V Ray, one of our favorite local artists and someone who we know. This is from Byron Birdsall. There's a little bit of a glare in that, so sorry, I'm gonna try to move around. This is from the Anchorage Centennial in 1915 to 2015. Kind of fun, it says for Adam and Sherry from Byron. Right here we have a piece of baleen. Baleen is from the mouth of whales, and honestly, it is super common among like Alaskan native artists, and you can see there's a dog sled etched onto that. And if you turn immediately to your right when you first walk in, you can kind of see the door on the right. We got this at the State Fair a couple years ago, ordered this off of Etsy. I actually found this in uh, Pueblo, Colorado at like an arts market, and I brought that back home with me. So just some signs we love, and then another sign uh, above our front door, forever, for always, and no matter what. And then we have, you know, just like coat rack, all of Sherry's sunglasses. Oh, that's not all of them. Well, you you have quite a few sunglasses. I have a lot, yeah. So we're gonna start upstairs, actually. Uh, again, showing you guys kind of things we have on the walls. These are just native dance fans. We bought those at a native arts market. This is beaver fur. Uh, you can see on a hoop. We bought that from uh, the Ferrandevu Festival, which happens here in Anchorage every February, early March. And the proceeds from this, actually kind of cool, goes to support subsistence lifestyle people who live in rural Alaska. So love to support them in that way. Plus, this is just absolutely beautiful. This is one of our favorite pieces. I might have shown this in a vlog before. In fact, I think I did. This is a Benny Benson signed Alaska flag. If you're not from Alaska, you might not know. Uh, Benny Benson actually is the person who designed the Alaska flag. That is like a museum piece that I cannot believe we own. And then right above that, you can see this huge piece of artwork. Uh, we actually bought this at a charity event. A friend of ours, Sonia Pollins, painted this, and we have been such huge fans of her art for so long. We always wanted like a big statement piece on this wall, and that's exactly what this is. Just for scale, this is probably four feet-ish by, I don't know, four and a half or five feet. I don't know. Anyway, it's huge and it is so unbelievably beautiful. It's one of the pieces that we just absolutely love the most. So now that we're at the top of the stairs, this is the living room. This is where you walk right into. And again, walking into the living room, we will show you. We just have a little love seat, a couple little chairs. You can see a treadmill over there, record player. Over here is like our iMac, little sitting area. I really love this pillow. I don't exactly remember where we got it. Some little market with the state of Alaska there on that. And then next to that, we have this pretty large stone wall that has our fireplace on it. Uh, this is one of our very favorite pieces. Actually, Sherry painted this. You'll see it's on an old window that we just have hung in the ceiling there with a couple little lovebirds there. Super fun. And you guys obviously will remember this was the backdrop to our vlog for a long, long time. So most of you have definitely seen this. And as you know, we love books and we have way too many. We're kind of <laughs> running out of space on our bookshelves, but this, this is our bookshelf collection. And we have like other bins of books that are like below our bed and around. This is just kind of what we have out. Um, yeah, as you can see, all full. And then we like stack books on top because we just, well, frankly, we need 
lots and lots of space for books. And back over here, one of the things that I really love to collect are old, old books, especially like old religious books. So I have like a couple of Bibles up there from like the 1800s. I uh, really love stuff like that. Uh, works of Josephus, who was like a Jewish historian. I don't remember what this is from. I think it's from the 1800s though. Just lots of old books. We just love the look of that kind of stuff. And this is a piece we actually bought in Ireland uh, 10 years ago. It's the coat of arms for each of our last names. And this is the view of the living room looking back from where the iMac was. You can see books over there. There's our TV. There's a chalkboard that Sherry changes seasonally. And over here next to Sherry's chair, you'll see these bins. This is actually where she keeps all of the supplies she needs to make all of her Disney ears. So basically we pull out a folding table right here. We hook up like her little cricket machine right here. And she just creates awesomeness. And of course, lots of art here in our living room as well. As you guys can tell, art uh, absolutely one of our very favorite things. So let's start down here at this end. This is the newest piece we've added to this wall. This is a piece by our friend of ours, Scott Spooner. And it doesn't really show up on camera, but he uses like gold leaf and copper leaf in his paintings. So where it looks like it would sparkle, it really, really does. His piece is just so amazing. This was our Christmas gift to ourself last year. And the next one here is another Byron Birdsall. He's one of our favorite artists and he actually just passed away a couple of years ago. But this is for the Anchorage for Rendezvous. This was what I was talking about earlier where we bought that beaver pelt. This is like our big winter carnival. So there's a Birdsall. The one next to it is actually another Birdsall. Just really loved how Alaskan this is with the two native children with the puppies and the parkas. And actually puppies and parkas or parkas and puppies is what this one is called. And then in the middle we have a Barbara LaValle. Barbara is another famous Alaskan artist. Um, uh, this is a piece from the, when Alaska celebrated our 50th year of statehood. We got that. You can see it says Alaskans celebrate 50 years of statehood. Loved that piece. This one is another V-Ray. We saw her piece earlier in our entryway. So there's that one. And then this one, another Barbara LaValle. Uh, you guys recently saw this scene in one of our vlogs. If you remember when we were down on Ship Creek watching people fish, there was that restaurant um, that we had our rehearsal dinner in. That is exactly where that scene is. And these shelves we've had forever. We just sort of put random stuff on it. That shelf right there has a purse from Beijing and a nesting doll from... Kyrgyzstan, I believe. Yep. And then we have this little box with a whole bunch of just little pieces in it and all these kind of dolls around. And then you guys, look at young Adam and young Sherry. That was from a long, long time ago. 2003, I think. So now we are gonna go ahead and show you the rest of the upstairs. Oh, there we are, hello. So we're leaving the living room and we're entering this little hallway. You can see another Sonia Pullins. Uh, she's the artist who did the giant piece in our entryway. This is a graphic designer who I really love from Portland, Oregon. This is an Alaska piece he did. You guys will think this is kind of cool. Uh, we got this on our very first trip to Disneyland in 2013. We really love that. There's some wedding photos of us with our vows. And then this is kind of our main upstairs bathroom for Sherry and I. You can see it has the shower, toilet, pedestal sink, uh, Missy's litter box for those who are interested, a uh, little medicine cabinet, and then like a nice big shelf right here. So that is our bathroom. And then right outside the bathroom, we have our our bedroom. You can see my dresser. We have a little TV up there. We've got Sherry's dresser over there, a bunch of her stuff. Many of you guys will remember we made this headboard in a vlog, so there's that. And then above our bed, we have this thing with our wedding vows and our wedding date. And of course, a very important reminder, always kiss me goodnight. So that's our bedroom. So that is our upstairs. Let's head downstairs. So downstairs again, of course, you can see the front door right there that you saw. And then right below, I showed you the adventure weights, lug life and gather. You guys will know this very well. This is our countdown chalkboard. You can see 67 days until our super secret anniversary trip. 25 days until my road trip. And then when we head downstairs, you can see we come into our kitchen. And then right over here is like our little dining area. But first, Let's talk about the kitchen. When we first bought the house uh, over 11 years ago, this kitchen had the same countertops, same white, uh, but the the walls were all white and then the cabinets were this really dark wood and it was it was not pretty. So, painted the walls red, painted the cabinets white, added some new hardware, and we actually really love how that looks. But you guys have definitely seen our kitchen in a lot of the vlogs. One of the most important pieces of our kitchen, Sherry Beth, what is this whole section? This is my coffee station. <laughs> this gets a lot of use, as you can imagine, because you can pretty much make 
anything here, right? I can't. It has the espresso thing right here with the little steamer so I can steam milk and make, you know, lattes, cappuccinos, whatever. Um, this has the drip coffee as well, so we can just have a big pot of just drip coffee if we want it. I've got my syrups, I've got my grinder. I'm good. And then over here, we have big thing of coffee beans, which clearly we actually need to add more. And then some coffee cups. Here's my pour over stuff. So that, you guys, is pretty much our kitchen. And then as you turn back around, you can see we have a little dining area kind of tucked in under the stairs back here. Little four person table that can expand up to eight people. Uh, we bought these today at the farmer's market. You guys, look at how beautiful the peonies are. Oh my gosh, absolutely love, love those. And then over here is our little laundry area, washer and dryer in there. And the next little part of the house, uh, if you guys remember, we had our friends Kelly and Caleb stay with us. We've had a lot of other friends stay with us. And so what we wanted to do was kind of divide this next section of the house so that they can feel like they had privacy while they're here. And so here's what we did. You can see it's just kind of open, but we actually added this curtain rod and these curtains. And you guys see there's some over there. So we can actually totally close off this next whole section, which has been perfect. Before we head that way, um, these were just like old drawers that we found at a salvage yard and we just turned them into shelves and we put some of our favorite mugs on them. Kind of cool. And this next little section has a bathroom, a room here and a room here. Let's start in the bathroom. This is the downstairs bathroom. We don't really have a theme on it. It's a little bit of Paris, a little bit of beach. We're not really sure. One of the coolest things about this downstairs shower is the Disney H2O products that one of you guys sent us. Absolutely love that. But you know what we don't love? You guys, this tub is still the original color. It's like this gross avocado yellow mustard puke color. Someday this color will go away. We just can't really afford a new tub yet. And we have this little basket of shells down here in this bathroom. These are all kind of shells that we have collected on all of our little beach vacations. We always try to bring shells home with us, just a fun little free souvenir. Mm -hmm. And then we put them right here in the bathroom. And then right outside of the bathroom, uh, as bad as my hat collection is, Sherry's scarf collection is just as bad. And so a few years ago, decided to build her this kind of, I don't know, this way to display them so she can see what she has and get to them easily. So I just took like curtain rods and put them on there and she has all of her scarves displayed. And as we get ready to head into the guest bedroom, here's another Byron Birdsall piece on the wall. You'll notice as we get in here, the theme of our guest room is kind of old Paris. And so Sherry painted the colors on the wall. You'll see a lot of the art is either in French or pictures of Paris, that kind of thing. She also has her entire like doll collection displayed in here. And of course on the bed, is Missy, you guys, because Missy is convinced that this is actually her room, that it's not really for guests. Okay. <laughs> she thinks it is for her. She is bored. She's clearly bored with this video. We hope you guys are not. Over here, <laughs> we have this little desk. You'll see Eiffel Tower stuff. We also found these kind of cast iron looking candle holders. Love those. Some postcards from Paris. And then I love these uh, drawings of different iconic places. And then over here, we just have like a little dresser, a couple little, you know, shelves with knickknacks and stuff. And then over here would be our guest closet. But Sherry, there's also something in this room that is kind of hidden that you've hid intentionally, haven't you? Well, not, uh, inten not intentionally, but out of necessity. Okay, and what is that? You guys, part of Sherry's purse collection. Almost all of it. There's a few floating around the house. Oh my gosh. So there's a bunch of Sherry's purses. It is kind of fun looking at this though because it's a little bit memories. Bought that purse in Ireland. Mm -hmm. Bought this one in Paris. that one in Paris. So yeah, but this, you guys, is our guest room or as Missy believes, it's her room. And speaking of Missy, if you follow us on social media, you already know this. Um, you guys, we created Missy an Instagram account. I don't know. I, we've become those people. I'm so sorry. Um, but I'm going to put a link down below. If you want to go check out photos of Missy, um, please go check it out. Because clearly, you guys, she does not get nearly enough love or attention. Yeah, you are the most spoiled cat mm. in the history of cats. As we're leaving the guest room, we only have one more room to show you. And confession, you guys have definitely seen this room. However, currently it's probably the dirtiest room in our house. So uh, yeah. a little bit of grace would be nice. Yes, this is the room that we turned into our YouTube studio. So there's the table we sit at. There's the 
backdrop, but you can see it's kind of currently a little bit of a catch-all. A lot of the mess is actually Sherry's Disney ears, because you'll see we have a bunch of them up there. However, we still have all of these that won't fit. So we're working on a project to find like a new home for them, but currently they're just kind of here. And then on the other side of the room over here, uh, one thing that I kind of collect, you guys might not know, is like antique pipes and stuff. So you'll see a lot of old pipes there. Here's some of my Seattle sports memorabilia. It's a signed Russell Wilson football on an actual piece of AstroTurf from CenturyLink Field where the Seahawks play. Walter Jones signed football. Max Strong signed football. Signed Seahawks hat. Just lots of guy stuff in here. And here on the wall, this is a scarf that I actually painted. Um, a friend of ours has this business that she does. This is all like wax, like you lay out the wax and then you paint the scarf and as the paint flows, it hits the wax so it doesn't bleed. And it was super fun to make. And then we have just a lot of more books down here. A lot of this is Disney stuff and games. You can see more Disney stuff here, a little leg life light, and then a TV that honestly, almost never gets used. Now we're gonna give you a little bit of a YouTube studio tour, kind of show you some of the stuff we have back here. Um, a lot of this stuff was gifts to us. So I'm not gonna go over everything, but there are a couple of pieces we really love. Love our name piece up there. Love, love, love this old Mouseketeers hats. Actually our friends River, Colin, and Zoe got this for us. This is like a vlogger house gift and you guys, we love that so much. Love old Disney stuff. You can see as we walk down the wall, lots and lots of Disney stuff here again. Most of this is stuff that you guys have definitely seen in the background of our videos. Our friend Summers in Alaska got us these. This is one of my favorite pieces. It's an old uh, gumball machine and it actually still works. You put a penny in, you turn this, you get a gumball. And I've actually even filled it with old vintage cards from those years, so I really Love that. And big Lego castle we worked on, photos from our friend Colin, and then this giant parking for theater patrons only, this hand-painted signs from an old theater here in Anchorage, and I don't know, we just kind of like it. So you guys, that's our house. That's all of it. <laughs> that is the house tour. <laughs> Three bedrooms, two bath, uh, split level townhome. We really love it. It's comfortable for us. It's got yeah. all the space we need. It's got space for us, but as well as to be able to have friends stay with us, which mm -hmm. we always really enjoy. We tried to show you some of our art, some of our favorite places in our house. We hope you enjoyed it. So you guys, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you have not. We love you, and we'll see you on the next Lug Life video.